today's lesson uh, I'm going to walk you guys through, through a project that I found on a book called Coding for Kids in Scratch 3. It's a pretty awesome book that uh, I think kids would like to read or play around with uh, Scratch can actually look into. Um, my son is not too much into reading so I figure I'd make it digital for him. But let me give you guys a like, kind of a, a demo on what it does. So here uh, we have a, I guess a space dog. He's uh, in, in Scratch they call him a sprite. Any, any drawing is called a sprite. But the whole idea of this uh, project is for the dog to go ahead and paint as it moves. As you can see, he paints it in different colors. And you move the dog with the up, down, left, right arrow keys. And I did make a small modification when I was working with it because I noticed that when uh, when you reset on the original one, which I'll show you as we build it, is that when you reset, he wouldn't turn right side up. So he's supposed when you reset the program, he's supposed to he's supposed to clear the canvas and the dog will appear at the center of, of the screen. So let's go ahead and get started with those steps and uh, get ourselves a little more familiar with using Scratch. Right. So we are not going to be using the cat. So for those that are not familiar with uh, Scratch, usually you can, when you, s when you start a project here, if you want to create, just go ahead and click here and create, and that'll bring you to your project area. So for this specific program that I'm building, uh, we're going to get rid of uh, this cat here. So by clicking here on the trash can, you can delete him or it and then go to the sprite logo on the bottom and I found it easier to just search for the character if you know what the character is. In this case, uh, the doc's name is Dot. So I found it easier to do that. So here we have Dot. He's our new sprite and he has different customs so he can do standing and then they have the walking where if you move him he looks like he's walking and they have backwards. For, for this project we're not using the back side of it so we're deleting that. So we'll go back to uh, our project, our code area. So this is our code area. And this is where the you build the, the sprites and give them different, depending on what you want it to do. Dance, jump, you give it different pictures so it makes it look like it's doing what you want it to do. So we're going to start with the event, which is when we click the flag, we want it to start the program. And we want our dot, we want dot to start at zero, zero, because that's the center of our screen. You can get them to, I mean, once you're done with this, you can play around with it and have them start up here in the corner or the bottom. But this, this shows uh, where exactly He's, he's going to be when you start the program. Let's see. And then we want him to rotate. Uh, 
set rotation. We're going to do a set rotation style to all around. This is what allows it to uh, to for for dot the character to point in different directions. And there is a pretty cool features here uh, that we're gonna have to add. So we're adding this pen. So what this pen does, it it basically writes. So it does the the colors that you guys were seeing on the screen. And there's different things you can use. We'll uh, explore those as we go along. But for now we're going to use the pen. And as you see, once you click on the pen, it gives you different things that you can do with the pen. And we're going to start by whenever I click the flag, I want him to be in the center uh, to be able to rotate all around. And I want the canvas to be cleared. And then we need to set the pen color. I'm setting the pen color to, I believe it's a purplish. We can change the color here by uh, whatever color you want here. Just go on these. Okay, you cannot type it, but you can drag it around and see what you want. And then, yeah, just change. Th that would help you change. And what is this? Let me see. I don't see anything coming up. So I'm not sure what that is for. And when I do find out, <laughs> I'll let you guys know. Um, we're going to set the pen size. So we want the thickness of the pen. That's that's This is what this piece of code is. And uh, I want it to be 50, so it's very nice and thick. And we want the pen to be down. So that's that's where it is uh, on the screen. It'll be it'll start at the uh, bottom of of a uh, right, so we won't actually see the pen until he starts moving. So now we're gonna have to add direction. So if we click the uh, right arrow, I want him to go right. Let's do that. So kind of like functions. Like move right, move left. Uh, let me see when when I'm gonna go with this here. Put them on the side. So we're going to start with the right arrow. When we click the right arrow, we want him to point point in the direction. My apologies, I'm still trying to get used to the where all the little blocks are at. The direction of 90. And then we want him to move 10 steps. We can change these values and it'll make it different. If we move him faster than 10 steps, he'll move faster. But we'll, we'll play with that later. And then we're gonna do the pen. As he moves, we want the pen color to change. So we wanna change it by one color. Not that way we can see the rainbow as he moves. And then we want him to change its his the look. Its look. So we're gonna get him to change the look. So when you saw earlier he had different little pictures of it of itself. Alright. So if I click on this, this should make it move to the right. Now let's reset him and let's say we use a keyboard to make him move to make it move to the right. He, he, he starts coloring. If you move any other key on the keyboard it should not move it move it. So dot does not move. Only he only moves to the right. So now we're gonna add the functionality of 
all the other keys on the keyboard and I and I discovered that if you click on the top one and do a control copy you can copy the whole function and then we'll make it go to the left up and down and set those values for it we're gonna do left we wanted to go to the negative oh and I, I found this pretty pretty awesome it, it shows you an actual 360 degree so if you're not too sure you can just drag it around this we want it to the negative 90 so you can drag it or you can click here and update it so yeah it's up to you guys we want to move 10 so we just want to change the arrow direction where it is going and the the, the position so we're gonna get another paste another copy of that so then we're gonna do up and if he's going up, we want him to do zero. Point in the direction of zero. Now, do the final one. So if he's going down, we want 180. And so now let's go ahead and try and see what he does. So to the green flag should reset him as it says here. And as you move it around, move that around, he should go around and paint different colors. He, at this point, since I have all the keys, uh, he shall move around doing whatever patterns you guys want him to do. You can draw with this with that. Uh, the only thing I did not like about the original, I mean, this is just me, uh, design was when you reset, the dog stays in the position you left it. So, so if, let's say if he, right now it's an upward, as I leave it sideways, the dog would stay sideways. So that was just me being picky and weird. But... I, if you add this one position in direction to it, it would, when it's done with the, when it resets, it would make it face up, upward. So, so let's give it a try. So we'll leave them upside down. Now we click on the flag again to reset and there it is it's right set up <laughs> and yeah that was that was the tutorial i was looking at on, at this in this book and it's a pretty nice book it has a lot of information and i there is one thing i would like to try and it probably have to be on a my, in my kitchen that i would like to do a video off to kind of show you guys how instructions, how machines follow instructions. But uh, for now, that's what this program does. We can change the different values in it. And um, on the side here, it's all the different things you can do. So as, as you notice, motion is what direction is moving in, rotation. The looks is, uh, we haven't done the looks, but he can say different words or make or uh, change the way it looks. Well, I guess we did do one looks. We changed the way he looked as he moved around. And then sounds, uh, they have different sounds that you can use. I believe you can make your own sounds. Yeah, I believe you can. We'll play with that later once we get more used to this program and we have the events which are the triggers and and then controls controls are more of the loops 
of uh, when you want multiple things to be done in, well, one thing done multiple times. And then sensors. We'll play around with all this stuff as we go. And I, that will get us more familiar, but definitely wanna play around more with this stuff here. I do have a makey makey, so I want to get that working. We'll look into that later. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, I guess before I leave you guys, let me show you how to save this. You can, you obviously have to be logged in to save it onto your, uh, onto your account. So you up here is where you name it. You can also share it if you want to. You name it and, uh, and then you do a save now. Just very simple. And then to find your project when you're not, when you're not in this area, your projects are saved right here where it says my stuff. That's where it will save your projects. It's a, so far it's been very simple to use just uh, getting used to the location of all the different blocks and what the blocks do but eventually we'll get there and uh yeah so thanks for watching and i'll post another video later